Hi, my name is Graham Hendry and I'd like to give you a brief introduction today on Ease Focus 2, which we have licensed uh, specifically for configuration and some simple simulation of our VLS products. There will be a longer video tutorial available, but for the purposes of today's webinar, we'll keep it quite brief. Ease Focus 2 is a three-dimensional acoustic simulation software package for the configuration and modelling of passive line sources such as VLS and in the future we will also incorporate QFlex into the package. The software is publicly available and it's free for download from our website. Focus 2 comes with a number of language options. In the options menu we can see that you have a choice of English, German, Spanish, Italian and Portuguese. This will normally be detected by your operating system so no need to set. OK, let's take a look at the software interface itself. On starting the program you will find a window containing the project properties where you will enter any relevant information and who's doing the simulation, your company name and also if you click on the object properties tab we will have information and we can input details on the audience zones or the areas to be covered. The centre window shows the top or the plan view of the project. This is where we will modify our room data and insert any loudspeakers. And on the bottom a side view of a selected audience plane. This will show the vertical coverage of the loudspeaker. Other tabs available here are levels, frequency response, time response, SPL distribution and the addition of any applied filter data. On starting the program you will see the Ease Focus 2 logo at the top of the screen. When you select your VLS product, as you can see here we have each of the three models. Uh, we'll choose a, a VLS 30 as an example just now. That will be inserted into the project and you will see the logo change to the, the tannoy at the top of the screen. While we edit the room and for the time being I will just deactivate my sound source. Now you can draw and edit your room uh, based on dimensional data from drawings on your, your window here, um, snap to grid or otherwise. But what I do find very useful is that if you may happen to have a planned drawing or an aerial picture, it can be a very simple drawing as long as it has some sort of scaling and sizes on it. You can use this as a basis to draw and superimpose your audience areas on. Click on the layout picture icon and select the, the drawing that you may have. And what we do is we add some scaling to the drawing. Now this is a simple JPEG and we know the length of the, the room and if it's all to scale we only have to input uh, one dimension. So I'm going to make this room about, let's see, 180 feet in length and then that's then dropped onto the, the grid itself. The audience area can be very complex in shape, but for the purposes of this, dem uh, this demonstration we'll keep it quite simple for the moment. So we then scale our audience area to suit the drawing and everything's pretty much automatic from there. Now we have our audience area pretty much defined, I'm going to reintroduce the loudspeaker or the source that we were looking at earlier in this case a VLS 30. So I'm going to drop it at the left hand side, this is a church just in case you hadn't guessed and I'll position the speaker on the left side and I'll select the source and we'll look at the, the mapping properties from there. In the project settings we are making the assumption that the audience is in a, a, sit, a seated position. These are default settings, you can adjust them to suit. In this instance the speaker is mounted at a height of 10 feet, that's in the centre of the loudspeaker. And our initial mapping shows that we can actually be doing with, if we look at the level here, 
uh, the speaker dropped in height ever so slightly. Uh, that's quite easy to do. We can reduce the height from 10 feet to say 7 feet and we can see here that in the near field that has improved the the uh, SPL distribution quite quite dramatically. We would also want to slightly tow in the loudspeaker to give us more coverage into the, the centre of the room. Okay, so we obviously have to add another loudspeaker to cover the other half of this particular sanctuary. So I'll select another uh, VLS-30 and we'll place that symmetrically in the same position as the first one. I'll be quite rough about this just now. Um, also we're making good use of our fast shaping technology. These boxes are flush against the wall, no angle on them whatsoever and we're using that natural down tilt on the, the steering um, assuming we pick the correct height, we choose the correct height um, to give us good even coverage. From this point we can now look at a number of tools to further optimise our system. If I place a number of receivers, which is this little icon here, in various different parts of the venue itself, we can look at frequency response. So we can look at the, the frequency response of the system at any point in the space relative to any of these receivers, which is a very useful tool. We can look at our SPL um, distribution from another angle. We can look at SPL distribution. We can check on arrival times. Along the top here you will see there are a number of ways of viewing your data. In this instance we are looking at e-weighted distribution. We're looking at third octave band so we can choose our frequency um, to a high degree of resolution. You can look at the, the relative distribution also. We can switch sources on and off to manipulate each individually. So quite a, a resolute package. But the coolest part of all is the report. From here, when you've finished and optimised your room, we can create a report for you and your client, and more especially your client, because it looks very impressive and it takes no time at all to produce. And from here, we create a report. It can be as a Word document or as a PDF and that will produce uh, a very impressive looking report. SPL distribution, positions of the sources, all of the acoustical data and I'm sure you would agree that having maybe just taken information over the phone from a client you can put together a very nice and impressive looking design in no time at all. And best of all, it's free. Thank you for listening.